जनरल रिएक्शन फॉर पेरीटेक्टिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज एस वन प्लस एल गिवज एस टू at constant temperature so here s1 is the solid one l is the liquid and s2 is the solid two so in iron carbon equilibrium diagram so delta will be the solid one which is at 0.1 percentage of carbon plus liquid it contains 0.55 percent carbon so once reaction occurs it will gives austenite phase that is a solid 2 which has a 0.8% 18% carbon at 1492 degree celsius temperature so this is the first reaction in iron carbon equilibrium diagram called as a peritectic transformation so the transformation where one solid plus liquid gives another solid at constant temperature so such a transformation is called as a peritectic transformation so for that percentage of carbon will be for solid one it will be 0.1% carbon remaining will be the iron then for liquid the carbon percentage or composition is 0.55% and whenever the new solid s2 is formed which is a austenite which contains 0.18% carbon at the temperature of 1492 degree celsius so this is the first reaction that is a peritectic transformation next transformation is a eutectoid transformation so the general reaction for eutectoid transformation is a one solid that is s1 gives s2 plus s3 at constant temperature it means from the solid state it will give another two solids in this reaction at a particular percentage of the carbon so in iron carbon equilibrium diagram solid 1 is a austenite which contains 0.8% carbon which gives two solid that is a solid 2 is a alpha ferrite and solid 3 is a cementite which is a ap3c so for the alpha phase or alpha solid the carbon composition is a 0.025% and for solid 3 cementite which is a ap3c the carbon percent is a 6.67% the temperature is 727 degree celsius so the eutectoid mixture of alpha and ap3c is called perlite <coughs> so the average carbon content is 0.8 for the perlite phase so the mixture of alpha and ap3c is called as a perlite so this is the eutectoid transformation so here depending on the carbon percentage we will get the so this transformation is uh, applicable for the general steel material for the carbon ranges from 0 to 2% so there will be a hypo eutectoid transformation and hyper eutectoid transformation then third transformation is a eutectic transformation so the general reaction for eutectic transformation is liquid phase gets converted into the two solid states or phases so l gives s1 and s2 at constant temperature so in iron carbide equilibrium diagram the liquid it contains 4.3% of the carbon 
which gives a uh, first solid S1 as austenite, which has a 2% of the carbon. And second solid is a FP3C, that is a cementite, which is 6.67% carbon at a temperature of 1147 degree Celsius. So the eutectic mixture of austenite and cementite is called as a ladiburite. So it contains average carbon content of 4.3%. So uh, also you can see the peritectic transformation with the help of this diagram. So the peritectic transformation in general, peritectic transformation is denoted as S1 plus liquid gives S2 at constant temperature, where S1 and S2 are two different solids and L is the liquid. The peritectic region in the upper left hand corner of figure is as shown on the enlarged scale in figure this. So in FP3C system, this transformation occurs at point P and is as below. So here you can see at point 18% carbon, the transformation occurs is called as a peritectic transformation, where solid plus liquid gives another solid S2. So here, first solid is the delta. Liquid is here delta plus liquid. So it will give the another solid, which is a austenite. So here in previous side, also there will be a delta. Then liquid, it will give the austenite at 1400. 92 degree Celsius. So at this temperature line, 1492 degree Celsius. Here in this region, there will be the liquid. Here there will be the uh, ferrite, that is a delta ferrite. Here in this region, there will be the delta plus liquid. In this region, delta plus austenite. In this region, there will be the austenite plus liquid. So here at this point, the delta plus liquid gets converted into the austenite. Means this region, it will have the mixture of delta, ferrite and liquid iron. So at this concentration or at 0.18% carbon, this will get converted into the austenite means delta plus L gets converted into the austenite. So here the carbon percent is a 0.1 and here it is a 0.55. So on X axis, there will be the percentage of carbon and on Y axis, there will be the temperature in degree Celsius. So the peritectic transformation occurs at a temperature of 1492 degree Celsius with the carbon percentage of 0.18. Next one is a eutectoid transformation. In general, eutectoid transformation is denoted as S1 gives S2 plus S3 at constant temperature where S1, S2 and S3 are different solids. So in this diagram, it is again a weight percentage of carbon on X axis and temperature in degree Celsius at Y axis. So here you will have a first solid that is the S1 solid, which is the austenite. Then second solid will be the alpha ferrite and third solid will be the cementite. So at E point, the eutectoid transformation occurs at 0.8% of carbon 
and at 727 degree Celsius temperature. So here in this region, there will be alpha ferrite. In this region, there will be the mixture of alpha ferrite and austenite. Here in this region, there will be the mixture of austenite and cementite. And at 727 degree Celsius temperature and 0.8 percentage of carbon, the solid one that is austenite will get transformed into the two solid S1 and S2 that is a S1 plus S2 which is a alpha plus a P3C that is a mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite. So this is called as a perlite. So if carbon percent is less than 0.8 percent starting from 0 0.008. So this type of metal is called as a hypoeutectoid steel and from 0.8% to 2% carbon, this region, the steel is called as a hyper eutectoid steel. So in this way, the eutectoid transformation occurs where one solid gets converted into the two solid S2 and S3. Next third reaction is a eutectic reaction where liquid get separated into the two solid that is austenite and cementite. So here at 1147 degree Celsius temperature and 4.3 percentage of the carbon liquid gets converted into the S1 plus S2. So S1 will be the austenite and S2 will be the cementite. So the mixture of austenite and cementite is called as a ladyburite. So here when liquid gets converted into the two solid at the temperature 1147 degree Celsius and 4.3% of carbon, such type of reaction is called as a eutectic reaction or such type of transformation is called as a eutectic transformation. Then the region between the uh, in this line below and above this line will be the liquid plus a P3C that is cementite. Then this region shows the mixture of austenite and liquid iron. This region shows the mixture of austenite and cementite at 727 degree Celsius temperature. Below 727 degree Celsius, there will be the mixture of again alpha plus AP3C. So this is the third type of transformation that is a eutectic transformation. Next point is a critical temperatures in iron iron carbide equilibrium diagrams. So here in table, the number of critical temperature along with the symbols and significance during the heatings are given. So serial number one critical point is A0. It is called as a Curie temperature of cementite. It is generally 210 degrees Celsius. Then significance is cementite becomes paramagnetic. Then second is the A1. It is called as a lower critical temperature, which is equal to 727 degree Celsius. Then during heating, perlite starts transforming to austenite. Then third is A2 temperature, A2 critical point. That will be the Curie temperature of ferrite which is equal to the 768 degree Celsius, ferrite becomes paramagnetic. Then next one is the A3, that is the upper critical temperature for hypoeutectoid steel, which will be ranging from 727 to 910 degree Celsius. The completion of ferrite to austenite transformation occurs. Then fifth one is the ACM, that is the upper critical temperature for hyper steel, which is a 727 
to 1147 degrees celsius the completion of cementite to austenite occurs then sixth critical temperature is a4 it will be the 1400 to 1492 degrees celsius the completion of the austenite to delta ferrite transformation occurs now we will see the what are the uh, how that temperature are present in the iron iron carbide equilibrium diagram so a0 is the 210 degree celsius line so here you can see this uh, 210 degree celsius temperature line here also 210 degree celsius temperature line so this temperature is called as a a0 temperature then next is a a1 temperature and a2 temperature that is a lower critical temperature and curie temperature of ferrite so here you can see the a1 temperature that is a 727 degree celsius a1 temperature then here a2 temperature 768 degree celsius a2 temperature then 910 degree celsius a3 temperature 910 degree celsius then acm temperature acm acm that is a 727 to 1147 degree celsius temperature then a4 temperature 1492 1492 so here there will be the temperature that is a a4 temperature so in this way we can represent the critical temperatures for the iron carbide equilibrium diagram that is a0 a1 a2 a3 and acm and a4 so thank you for watching the iron carbide equilibrium diagram reactions and various critical temperatures for the iron carbide equilibrium diagram.